So say once you go through all of those things, you will have a file looks like this one. So it's a zip file. Once you double click on that one, you will see the folder of that and you do have a setup.exe file for you to execute it and then basically uh, get your Oracle software. It, after the unzip and installation, it's going to take a pretty huge amount of space. Uh, however, like I said, it is crucial for you to do so, uh, so that we can continue uh, for the rest of our semester. Saying that you have successfully downloaded the whole thing, and then if you look into your uh, programs, what you will see is that you will look and find an Oracle Database 11 G Express Edition. Once you try to uh, open it up, what you will see is that there are quite a few uh, files for you to open it up. Uh, the one that we're going to use is going to use the run SQL command line. So when you click on that one, you will be uh, greet with this uh, screen and then you will be able to go log into your uh, Oracle. While you try to install, while you try to install the Oracle, it will ask you for the password. Since we are just playing with the Oracle for the class purposes, try to make your password as simple as possible. Uh, the default password that we're going to set up in the classroom is actually password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, all lowercase. This is the number one most popular password in the world. So that uh, is totally fine. We are not going to store some secret information in our Oracle unless you plan to do so. Uh, so once you have set up your password during the installation, uh, the first thing that you go into the uh, Oracle is that under the SQL lines over there, you type in connect, C-O-N-N-E-C-T, and then system, which is going to give you the whole privileges, uh, which is the system that I mean basically, uh, then that you will be able to connect in. Once you hit enter, it will ask you to type in the password, which like I mentioned, if during the installation, you type in passwords, the password, then all you need to do is type in password over here. Of course, if you have some other uh, password that you prefer, you need to remember that and then uh, type in the correct password. One more thing is that while I'm trying to type in the password as the password, the cursor is not going to move. Don't panic. You just simply type in password, hit enter, it should let you successfully log into the system. So P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, as you can see, when I type in those things, the cursor did not move. Now I hit enter, you will see connected, indicating that we have successfully logged into the system. So basically, this is what I want you guys to do for the first part of the lecture. Like I said, it will take a while uh, to go through all of this process. However, once you are ready, uh, please come back and then look into the second 